I'm very excited that we moved to the, uh, to the new institute, the Hess Center of Science and Medicine. Um, we grew from a group uh, six years ago that was just myself, a postdoc and a student, to a group that is um, that consists of more than, than 15 investigators um, and in addition to that we also have a large network of collaborators at NYU, at Columbia, MIT, also overseas in the Netherlands and Norway. Yeah, we at the Molecular, uh, Translation and Molecular Imaging Institute are very excited uh, about the nanomedicine program and also excited about uh, moving in into the new Hess uh, Center of Science and Medicine. Uh, this is a young program. This is a program that started not a long time ago. It really uh, took off with the recruitment uh, of uh, Dr. Mulder uh, to Mount Sinai and it has become one of the, one of the best examples of, of how you move uh, innovation and how you can uh, uh, try to um, push the field uh, in, into, into new areas. This is our new nanomedicine lab in the Hess Institute of Science and Medicine. We have a 1600 square foot space in which we have desk and personal bench space for 16 researchers. We have state-of-the-art equipment spread around the lab and separate rooms for nanoparticle synthesis and storage for chemicals. We also have the facilities to culture cells and have a room with two film hoods. In collaboration with investigators at MIT, I use novel microfluidic chip technology to synthesize different types of nanoparticles. These include liposomal nanoparticles, natural lipoprotein nanoparticles, as well as highly complex and multifunctional nanoparticles. Uh, I work on the development of complex and multifunctional nanomaterials uh, that are designed to both diagnose and treat disease at the molecular level. My work focuses on the development of smart coated nanomaterials that transform from nanoparticles invisible for the body to nanoparticles that specifically recognize malignant tumors. The tumor vasculature is an interesting target for cancer therapy. I work on nanoparticles that specifically recognize the tumor vasculature. I use nanoparticles that are developed by our chemists on the bench up in the lab and work on a roadmap towards using them clinically. This involves better understanding of nanoparticle targeting mechanisms in atherosclerotic disease, all the way to the first in man clinical trial. Lipoproteins are natural nanoparticles that transport fat through the body and play a key role in cardiovascular disease. I use these lipoproteins to create diagnostic and therapeutic nanoparticles. For the general public, high density lipoprotein is known as good cholesterol as it has a protective effect against cardiovascular disease. I work using high density lipoprotein as a natural drug delivery vehicle for the treatment of atherosclerosis. The ultimate goal of the nanomedicine program is. To, uh, to undergo the full pathway, the full roadmap of translation. So we focus on the development of novel nanomaterials. We test these nanomaterials preclinically and we try to push this technology all the way, all the way to uh, clinical trials and patients.